Hey everybody. Um, this here is a fan that you may be familiar with, um, or you may not, depending on how long you've been watching my videos. Um, this here is a Kodep Stratoline ceiling fan. That was their model name for it. Um, but this one's uh, model, I guess you would call it, is the CC series. Um, it's a 52 inch ceiling fan. It's a close mount model. And these were sort of designed as copies of the Hunter Comfort Breeze. Um, you can definitely see the resemblance to the Comfort Breeze um, in the, the motor and everything else. But everything besides the motor housing itself is pretty generic. Um, this one is made by CEC, or at least it has a motor made by CEC. It's a stamped uh, spinner motor. And it actually, uh, this isn't the first one of these I've gotten. I have another one of these in polished brass. This one's in antique brass. And there are a few slight differences between the two, and I will get to those in just a little bit. But um, I got this one from my favorite salvage store today. You may have seen it in the video that I just uploaded um, just a few hours ago. Um, see, I, I did end up getting it. Uh... And really, the only reason I got it was just to compare it to my other one. Uh, but yeah, this one is basically, other than the few, like, construction, different differences in construction of the fan, it's pretty much the same. It's got uh, the same uh, generic blade arms and blades, the stencil blades that are reversible from plane to stencil. When I got it, it was uh, the blades were on the plain side, so I flipped them over to the stencil side, of course. Um, very dusty as well when I got it. Uh, and this one is, yeah, it's it's kind of different. It's got a light kit, a single fitter schoolhouse globe. Um, so now I'm actually going to take the tripod out of here because I wanted to show you guys. I have the motor for the other one down here. This is my polished brass Kodep Strato line that I made a video of this one a long long time ago back when we were at our old house so this one has uh this one is the em series if we go up top here and look at this one's tag which is upside down for some reason this one is cc series so that's interesting um this one's tag is also red and it also has a uh white background like a rectangular background that it's on um, also the fan in the picture up there itself is different. I don't know if you can see that on that one It's like a bottom mounted generic fan of some sort probably a GE vent if you look at this one It's actually a one model 100 galaxy or an Astro a top mount model So that's kind of interesting um, so other than the finish The mounting is really different. You could probably see when I was up there this one's mounting is kind of similar to what I, I like to say it's like a hunter low profile, like the old ones, in that there's this bracket here. Take, take that out. Oh, goodness. Okay, there's this bracket here with a square hanger that that squared uh, hanger joint, I guess, fits in here. There's supposed to be a rubber isolation covering on here. Uh, but that's uh, rotted off over the years. And then this outer canopy goes on. And then this one goes on under that. So it kind of goes like that to cover up that portion of the wiring. So it's really weird. I've never seen anything else quite like this before. But this one's mounting is very similar to like a generic close mount fan. It's got the canopy uh, attached directly to the top motor housing with by means of a threaded nut and a big threaded uh, stud and bolt uh, and then it's got this big canopy that has it's a single piece and it has the three nuts that hold it to a big round mounting bracket so that's pretty interesting and then uh, like I said everything else is pretty much the same except for one thing the nose on this one is completely different um, I'm going to show you the other one first so this one has actually like a pretty generic looking nose. It's got this little like, I don't know if you call this like a ridge here that most modern ceiling fans you'd see have on the cap itself. Um, 
it's got an older style pull chain and it's got the reverse switch right here which has a label on it uh it says reverse doesn't have an arrow on it but uh yeah and it also has a, a vent screen in here some felt so uh this one's nose is kind of chunky it doesn't have that ridge at the bottom of the or top of the cap the uh pull chain looks like it's newer it may be it may have been replaced so that's not really a good defining characteristic but the reverse switch on this one is not labeled and this one's reverse switch is upside down which is another enigma that i've come to see among many fans that i've gotten over the past few years for some reason they all seem to have upside down reverse switches and that may or may not be original i don't know like i said somebody may have been in it to replace the pull chain um yeah the light kit is actually a pretty spectacular match to the fan finish um, but everything else is pretty much the same. Oh yeah, and this one also doesn't have a vent screen for some reason, which is kind of interesting. So, yeah, that's just... I think that's all of the differences there are. The blades are basically exactly the same. So I guess this will count as the up-close view of the fan for now, um, in case I decide to show anything else after I test it. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate the light kit, I guess, first. And... These pull chain extensions did come with the fan. Um, I just decided to keep them on there because they're kind of cute. I like this crystal one. It's very similar to the one my grandma has in her house. And I don't think I have any like this little finial thing yet. So that's pretty cool. And I have a, there's a CFL bulb in there that actually came with the fan. That still works. Um, which is really nice. Can never have too many CFLs. It also came with that schoolhouse globe. I also could never have too many of those either. I love schoolhouse globes. And this actually looks really nice with a schoolhouse on it. Um, I think I actually, when I installed my other polished brass one in my room very briefly at our old house, um, and I think I put, a, I can't remember, I think I did put a schoolhouse globe on it. Or maybe it was the oval globe. Um, actually, it might have been the oval globe. I need to go back and scroll down through my Instagram again. But anyway. Uh, turn that off and start the fan on high. So it's a fairly fast high speed. Now, like I said, this one is made by CEC. It has a CEC stamped motor in it. There were ones that were made by TAT. That, uh, all the ones that I've seen that were made by TAT have had this mounting or this style, the chunky nose, and they also have the more angular brackets that are kind of like on the TAT Deluxe that I just made a video of recently. And those, I think, have cast iron motors. There's actually one of these in my partner's kitchen at his house. Um, I, I don't know if it's a TAT one or a CEC one. I assumed it was a TAT one, but now that I got this one, it might be just one of these. And I think it has plain blades, but it might have stencil on the other side. Um, but yeah. That one's also antique brass, just like this one. Oh, and it doesn't have a light kit. So, yeah, I'm actually quite impressed by this one's performance. It's quieter than the other one. The other one I have makes like buzzing noises. Turn it to medium. And then I did just realize there was one other difference between this one and the polished brass one is the nose and how it mounts onto the shaft. The uh, polished brass one is like riveted or something, I think. Or like there's a C-clip or something that keeps it in there. Um, and it just, if you can't tighten it, if it gets loose, though it's really loose actually right now and I cannot tighten it. Never, never been able to find a solution for that. Um, this one's nose is like on pretty much all the other CEC fans I've seen. It, uh, I think it's threaded on and there's a set screw that keeps it locked on. So thankfully when I got it, it was loose. And I was able to tighten it with that set screw. So that was very good. So here's low speed. It was a pretty 
average medium speed, I'd say. There is a bit of motor hum, but there's no bearing noise, which is nice. I, these must have been like really big sellers in this area, because I've seen so many of these here. These codeps, specifically the codep ones, codep labeled ones, because um, Moss also had a, a relabel of the TAT ones as well. I think Adam at Vintage Ceiling Fans has some videos of those. This is actually a pretty slow low speed. It's almost restaurant. Uh, what's the, the word I'm looking for? Restaurant capable. Almost a restaurant low speed. There we go. Okay. Turn it back to high. And I did balance it as well. It wobbled somewhat. Which again, I think is because of my box mounting up there. I'm going to have to tighten that up. But let's do the spin down. Okay, that's not terrible. I think it was just a little bit of kickback, but I'm not going to expect perfection from one of these stamped motors. Anyway, let's flip the upside down reverse switch and start the fan up on low in reverse. I do think this goes slower on low than the other one. I recall the other one was pretty fast and it was pretty noisy on low speed. Although I haven't tested it in years, so. And it's about the same in reverse. Medium. Ooh, it's making more barren noise for some reason. And not, not the uh, dry bearing noise, the wet whirring bearing noise. Seems like it might be going just a bit faster also. High speed. I'm noticing that there's more wobble. Oh yeah, there's a lot more wobble. Still can feel it moving a lot of air, so it's a good performer. All right, and since we already did the comparison between this one and the polished brass one, I don't think there's anything else I need to show. Actually, there is one more thing I wanted to show you. There is, um, in addition to the red brand information tag on the top, you may have noticed that there's this other tag here that has the UL information. 
and it says that it's model number 52B, but then it has all these other numbers after it, 201, 701, 705, 705A, 706, 706, I have no idea what any of those mean, um, unless there are other, like, fan model numbers or something like that, but it says 52B, so I don't know, and then there's also the serial number right here, which is very reminiscent of the other serial number tags that I see on other CEC models. Um, so yeah, and then this one, if you recall, has that other model tag that says um, model 2300, and I don't know what the 2360 is, but it's there. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I think that is all there is left about this one. So, once again, that is the Kodep Stratoline ceiling fan, also known as the CC series. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next video.